Nothing in your life is ever easy. Welcome to Moving On TV and to Borderline Personality Disorder Awareness Month. I decided to do this little public relation talk and I hope you really listen to it or watch it. As Moving On TV has become a CIC, a community interest company, it's for you, for the vulnerable, for all of us. Why are so many people being diagnosed with mental illness? What is mental illness? Does it even exist? Or is it that there just is not enough love in our world? Could that be it? And could it be that people are just being put into so much pressure, these little boxes to perform, to be what society wants them to be? People that are being diagnosed have all been abused as children. I was one of them. They've been hurt by society. Society can be cold and unloving if you haven't had the right parents, if you haven't been brought up with love and support. And then you go out into the wide world and you carry on being abused, so to speak. So you don't have the house, you don't have the children, you don't have the job and there's nowhere to work because you're stigmatized or whatever. You're too young, you're too old, you're too fat, you're too whatever. Is that why people are being pigeonholed and called mentally ill? Why? Could it be that they're just people that are just not loved? People that society just doesn't care about and they have to give them a label, a label so they can give them loads and loads of medication and throw them away in the bin, so to speak. You know, in the old days, they used to throw people like me in bins and do lobotomies and uh, electric shocks and God knows what, but not much has changed. They still arrest us on the street 23 times a year, some of us naked, because we cannot conform to being what they want to be. We're not bad people. We're not criminals. We just have had no love. That's all. You know, I was one of the lucky ones. I went into the therapeutic community. I got a lot of inner peace. But what happens when you come back out into the world, eh? It's that like what happens when that bird flies off out of the nest? It all starts again, guys, because there's nothing. There's no work and there's not enough love. There's not enough love. Can you imagine a society where everybody was loving and compassionate and there was no pressure on you to pay taxes and huge amount of money for rent and food where money didn't exist even? And I'm not saying this because I'm mentally ill. I'm saying it because I really do believe it. And I don't think mental illness is the issue here. I just think that if we shared our world, if there was less greed and more love and more love and more compassion and acceptance of ourselves and others, if we loved ourselves, because society tells us we're rubbish, because we've been thrown away, we've been touched, we've been damaged from the time we were three years old, 10 years old, touched by men and women that really were very, very sick people and obviously had no love themselves. And it goes on and on and on and on. Isn't it time to stop it? I hope you're listening to this as it's Borderline Personality Awareness Month this month and I want this to go everywhere. I don't think mental illness exists. It's just that we don't live up to what society expects of us. We can't cope with all the loss and the death and the sadness and the lack of word work and the stigma. In my situation I wasn't allowed to adopt even though I've been well for six years. Society does not give us a chance but I am, I'm giving everyone a chance. Moving on TV is your TV station. It's a community interest company. It's for the vulnerable. There's nothing for us guys. You're lucky if you get a program like WMAP and a wonderful man like, like Casey Armstrong. 
he's invaluable he's an angel because this does not exist so you have to go out and create the love in your life like I have you have to go out and you have to make a list of all the things you love and do them do them and meditate and if you don't have a family that loves you because my family don't love me go out and create a new family meet new friends your soul friends that's all I can tell you and you'll fail and you'll have breakdowns like I do on and off and you'll be on the floor cuddled up into a little fetus shape like I do because I miss my father and because I have no family and because I had no kids and because society doesn't want to give me work and because yada 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 and how do you pay the rent so come to me to moving on TV let's fix things together I love you guys and as I say mental illness is not a stigma and a lot of artists like us get diagnosed why do you think we get diagnosed because they won't give us any work the media will not let us on it'll only let on celebrities and famous people and there's a hole in our hearts where we need to be singing and performing and doing what we love why don't we have a right to shine like everybody else you tell me that hmm? so that's why I'm telling you all of this I don't believe that mental illness is real it's not like a broken bone or something like that. Mental illness is the product of what we've been through in our lives. It's the nurture, not the nature. You could be born with a, some kind of um, genetic thing, but if you're loved and loved and loved and loved and loved and you can fit the society, what society wants, you will not get a label of a mental illness. You will not get borderline personality disorder, complex needs disorder. Everybody's walking around with complex needs disorder. Every single person is codependent on drink or drugs or their children or their job or whatever. Everyone, you take that away from them, there's nothing left. It's true. So you have to find something that makes you want to get up in the morning. And that's what I found in Moving On TV. And that's what I found in my theatre and singing. But I'm asking you to give me the possibilities and opportunities to talk, to sing, to earn a living. God, if there was no money in this world, I wouldn't need to earn a living. I would do this anyway. Because I love you guys. Love is the most important thing to me. So I hope this message gets into your heart. And I hope that we can all do it together. Bringing the hope back into our lives. Come on board the Moving On TV CIC. Bring your talents, bring your presenting skills, bring everything because you are wanted. I want you, I love you. You are not stigmatized. You are perfect the way you are. Love you lots. And if you go out and get into a therapeutic community, do your work guys. But you know when you come out of there, you will have to learn how to stay in love with life as I said and bit by bit I can teach you this on moving on TV bit by bit we can learn together how to heal our world and how to have a better life I love you lots and I hope this goes out everywhere and we can stay in touch with what we really are love and also I want to do a program called love changes everything it's not a song it's just watching uh, two children and how their lives would be if they were loved one will be loved and the other won't Will the mental illness progress and progress and progress from abuse and sadness and wars yeah sounds familiar love you lots love each other accept each other be kind to each other and try to let go of the high standards that your parents and society has set for you and then you can stay well 98% of the time like I do because I'm human bye moving on TV bringing the hope back into your lives Lauren at moving on TV dot UK Lauren with an E at moving on TV dot UK let's celebrate instead of commiserating <laughs>